Hi guys, Nick here, and if you didn't know, we just had some fantastic news that um, in YouTube, we now have the ability to edit our videos again once they're uploaded. We did have an editor, but they took it away about, oh, maybe six months to a year ago, and I was a bit upset at the time, but they've now brought it back. If you want to know where it is and how to access it, you best follow me. So here I am in the YouTube dashboard and where it used to be was down here under create. You used to have the editor there. So you still got your, your music policies and your audio library uh, down there. But what we want to do is access the actual editing. We want to access the actual editing uh, to just trim your clips once you've uploaded when you, you know if you're just uploading on a on a phone this is really great stuff now you need to be in the youtube studio beta and that brings you up a brand new uh, a brand new dashboard and we want to go into here into the videos section and look here's one i, I uploaded a, a logo showreel so i'll use this as an example so we click on on that we now want this part here editor so now when we click editor we now have our see if you if you've got editing software you can now see that that is very similar to a normal editing software so you have your playhead down at the bottom here where you've got your clip and actually just uh, this was also I need a massive shout out to Daryl Eves who uh, just pinged me a video explaining this as well I've been looking for it for ages so we have an undo and redo button up here. We have a discard changes, a save button. Uh, this element here is all for your view your keyboard shortcuts. So there's little keyboard shortcuts. If you do a lot of editing, uh, you normally do use your keyboard more than anything else. Um, and then here we have the, the play button, back 10 seconds, forward 10 seconds. Here's your audio. Again, here's the usual stuff. You can increase your speed. Again, if you're, if you're editing, you really want to have that playhead running quick. Otherwise, you're watching the videos over and over again, and you know you take it takes you a long time. Uh, and a full frame, a full screen there. But it's down here, so we've got. Hopefully, I'm hoping at some stage they will put an a, a ability to put another layer on, so we can chop and change the music underneath. So at the moment we've got. We've got the video and the sound audio below. Um, and on this part, this is where you can put an end screen as well. Not sure what that button's going to let us do, if anything. It's always good. <laughs> I'm guessing that they'll add to those because in the missing features element, you've got cards and, uh, and that sort of thing, which you would normally put on your, your video. So, um, so here we have uh, the timer, so we can tell it to trim. And that will then put this big blue box around it. And in that box, you can have the split, cancel, and preview. So here you, go, you can split. And once you've hit the split button, you can then just drag, drag it across. So, and then we can uh, preview it. So let's just uh, pop that there. So this is a preview in real time. So it just cuts that out. It's not a very good one to explain it on. I should really have one where I'm talking, really. Um, maybe have another split. So we want that edit trim. So then we can always do another split. Put a split there, maybe. Again, do another little drag. To another bounce up here by the way yep yeah, you can expand or decrease your your playhead timeline so if you're like this i was editing to a beat initially so uh, we can preview that as well so let's just hit the play it just cuts it out and then obviously you can either discharge the changes or you can save them and that will uh, I'll discard this. But that would then change your your play your little video, which I think is great news. As I say, hopefully 
they will be doing another one with an extra layer so we can actually remove the audio or add a little layer above for maybe some some extra animation or annotation drop in some lower thirds maybe might be coming don't know but at least you can do a little bit of editing a little bit of trimming in your actually when your video is actually up and online and if you've got the videos always very very similar and basically you know YouTube can tell if you've got the same video but you need to just trim it slightly to make it a new video then uh, that's a really handy tool okay well I'm excited hope you're excited as well uh, <laughs> hope you're gonna use it uh, but there this is the new beta or better I don't know which way you send it uh, which way round you uh, say it but the YouTube editor is back and it's hopefully gonna be even better so please Put your comments below. What would you like to see the editor include? Let's get, let's get to YouTube and say, hey, this is what we all want. We want extra layers. We want more audio. And be able to do better edits within the platform. They might actually help us out. So comment below. Obviously, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. Then you get notified every Thursday when I put a video out there. And this one will be probably Thursdays. Okay, take care, guys. And I'll see you next Thursday.